Hi everyone, it's Dr. Adam Murphy. So today we're gonna to focus on our upper back. In the last video, we focused on the shoulder blade and how it relates to the neck and just try to isolate it. Uh, today, what we're specifically looking at is how our upper back moves with regards to our shoulder. Um, so this test is great. I uh, learned it at a course recently and it's called the T4 mobility test. So what you do is you stand flat against the wall, arms down by the side, bring the arms up to about 90, rotate all the way back, and then with the hands pressing against the wall as well as the elbows, go straight overhead. So this looks not only our upper back, but how our shoulder moves along our rib cage, as well as some neck and sometimes compensation mechanisms. So I'll demonstrate that one right now. Trying that last exercise, see where you get the tightness or discomfort. Some people may feel it in the front of the shoulder as they go back. Sometimes it reveals a little bit of pectoralis uh, muscle tightness. So that's something you can easily stretch out, which we'll go through. Um, sometimes people feel in the back of the shoulder. That motion of bringing back the shoulder sometimes creates an impingement or a tightness, often felt through the infraspinatus and a few other muscles there. So we'll go through a couple different strategies for that. Um, as well, the mid-back, most people don't stand upright with the back. They're usually kind of slouched forward a little bit. So you can get in that position for some people, maybe aggravated, maybe tense and just uncomfortable. So we'll also discuss that in the next couple of videos as well.